quick inspection for you guys. Been a while since I've been on YouTube, so we're gonna do a quick inspection. I haven't been MIA for a while because there's a ton of snow in my area. It's cold, the weather sucks for doing roofing. But we got a leak out here. I can't go up on the roof because it's two story. It is covering about a foot of snow, so it's very unsafe. We're gonna look at it from the inside. It's a vacant home being renovated. Guy called me, say, hey, check us out. I see something right here we're gonna look at and explain about OSB oriented strain board and why there's a certain direction for it and kind of what I think is going wrong with the leak or going wrong and why it's leaking in. So let's switch camera around, check this out. So OSB stands for oriented strain board. Let's zoom in on this. If you look from this rafter here to this rafter here, the majority of those flakes are going this way. So if you take a piece of chipped wood and you try to flex it that direction against the grain, it's gonna be pretty stiff and rigid, but yet where the fibers join together, it's gonna to be able to flex this way. That's why they're oriented that direction to go put the strength from truss to truss or rafter to rafter. This board right here, however, if you look, is only two foot wide and it goes eight foot up. It's oriented the wrong direction. Not the fact that it's vertical, it's the fact of the orientation from the support it's resting on. So if this was a barn roof and you had purlings or girts, or whatever, I think I believe the purlings, girts are on the sidewall. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But uh, if they were to go this direction, you'd want your sheet vertical. Since they are rafters and trusses, you need your OSB that direction. If this were plywood, I believe also known as CDX, that is laminated 90 degrees out from each other. So you could get away with that. The issue you run into is over time it's going to start warping and I will try to zoom in right here. If you look there, the camera's not picking up, I can see with my eye. You might be able to see it a little bit better right here. So the older plywood above and the OSB below. Do you see that shadow it's casting? It's because the plywood, the OSB is sagging down right now. And water's going to run down below, it's going to drip off onto that, drop off. That's not as big, I mean it's not good, don't get me wrong but it's gonna flow down. What happens is down on the lower side, the OSB that I'm pointing at is sagging down. The sheet below it has the correct orientation and it is sturdy across. So this dip here causes a low spot. The lower board is actually raised up. So over time, water coming down, hitting that is going to dam up, run laterally, and it's going to be worse if you have three tab. It'll come into your slits, your keyways and drip in, could pose a problem, it's not good. Seeing this right here is a dead giveaway. Whoever did this roof originally or whoever put this sheet in didn't know what they were doing or didn't understand everything that should have been done and why. The actual leak why I'm called here, let's just show you inside here real quick. They noticed a leak in the ceiling so they cut it out to check it out. Water was coming down. You can see the deck board but I can show you better from in this attic access. So if you look right here, that has definitely been going on for a while. If I zoom in a little closer to that 2x4 rafter right there, you can tell it's got a little bit of rot going on. It's been there for a while. So to fix this, you need to have adequate weather to get up there safely. Make sure you use your safety harness. You all know me, I have a nice camouflage one. And I have a, a green screen one too. It's all green so I can edit it out on these videos for you guys. I do wear it, I promise you. So anyway, nice weather, remove all that stuff. The shingles, cut out the decking. Probably need to sister a board on to this because it's a little compromised right in here. Same with this one. Replace the wood. You're gonna have to lift this chimney vent off to get up under it. Honestly, depending upon the furnace and what their plans are with the HVAC, possibly just run a new one. If they're gonna do that, just remove that entire flue furnace pipe and put something else in a b-vent style at best you know you can remove that keep this old less efficient put a b-vent flue pipe through you can do that once this is all done the shingles need to tuck up under the flashing of whatever it is you're putting in whether it's a b-vent or if you're keeping that i'm guessing what they have done is they did not tuck their shingles under the flashing to the chimney if you look on the low side of the chimney right here water's backing up and going under the shingles probably because they have the flange nailed down and the shingles coming over I see that a lot. It's a very common mistake with less skilled roofers or do-it-yourselfers. So the point of the video is to learn from it. I wish I could get up there. Actually, you know what? I might be able to jump in here and possibly look. There's enough room up that way. Let me pause the video. I will jump up there and see if I can get a better view for you. All right, I just made it up. 
Let's just work our way over here. Boy, look at that. That hole isn't even aligned with the vent. That's not good. Three-eighths plywood. Whoever did this roof probably should have told the customer, hey, you probably need to redeck the entire thing. can't quite tell this is probably old stuff it does not look like it's a fairly new I need light I can't quite tell I'm trying to feel down I don't know if I can see yeah there's no shingle there uh, actually that's the internal I, I can't get my head in there very well You can see it's a bit of an unhealthy condition with all that stuff too. You can see right here is pretty bad, pretty rotted. This is the area it's coming in down here. It's all originating right from this chimney. And uh, like I said, unfortunately I can't get on the roof because it's covered in snow. But my guess is something's not tucked right here the way it needs to be because this is right where the water starts. If you look, it's just below the chimney casing itself where the flashing flange should go down. You can see a perfect line right here. It's also just about the width of the chimney right there. They replaced a little bit of wood, but they didn't replace this. It's been going on for a while. Whatever this is, it feels hard. It's not like a shingle. I'm guessing, I'd, I'd bet a paycheck on it. If I could get up there, they simply have the flange nailed down. This is the old original or an older layer of shingle prior to the newer roof put on. I wonder if I could reach my phone through there. That'd be bad if I dropped my phone through that. I'd have to go up there. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm trying to stabilize my camera there. In the comments down below, let me know what your thoughts are, what you think it is, if you agree with what I'm thinking, or if you think it's something else I'm missing and overseeing. Disclaimer, I can't get on the roof right now, so I can't get a view from the top. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. Appreciate you watching. Um, actually, let's do a quick little bit more investigation while I'm up here real fast. I can get you a better view while I'm right here on the sagging wood right here because it's run the wrong direction. Looks like they've replaced a bit of wood on the back side. They've almost got 50% of the wood on the back side replaced. I don't know why they didn't do the last view. Oh, that should be vented through the roof. Otherwise, a hot, steamy shower, bathroom, warm air inside, blowing into your attic's not good. And that doesn't look too great. The uh, duct tape right around there. I'm curious what that is. I don't know. It looks like they just joined two pipes to extend it further. And a bunch of tar coming out. And they've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sheets or so on the front side replaced. I don't know why they didn't just redo the whole thing. Hey, they did take time to put a couple age clips in. All right, it's cold up here. Getting ready to work my way down. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you learned anything good, give it a thumbs up. If you could, just give it a thumbs up. And the secret word, so I know you are watching. Ow, just hit my head. Down in the comments below, I know you watch this far. Attic. Appreciate it. Until next time, see you then. Be safe.